Students from Basis McLean, Loudoun Valley, St. Albans meet today on It's Academic. I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, the world's longest running TV quiz show produced by Altman Productions in association with David M. Rubenstein Productions. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness and passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI, to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. Well, we're glad you're with us as we jump into this fast start where questions are worth 10 points up or down. First team to buzz in gets to answer and the contestants don't see what you do on the screens at home. Here we go, teams. All answers begin with the letters D-E-N, that's den as in dentist. This mile high city is in Colorado, St. Albans. Denver. Yeah. This word is the opposite of affirm. Yes, Loudoun Valley. Deny. Yeah. This Alaska mountain was once called... Denali. Yes, very good basis independent. This tropical disease is also called... Dengue. No, no uh, yes, dengue, very good. Blue jeans are traditionally made of... Denim. Denim is it, St. Albans. This is the last name of the fictional protagonist in A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The answer is Arthur Dent. This is the number below the line in a fraction. Nine. Yes, Loudoun Valley, yes. Nine. This is the mass of a substance per unit of St. Albans. Density is right. Ooh, that was a fast round. Great way to go. Let's look at these scores. 110 for Basis Independent, 120 for Loudoun Valley, and 140 points for St. Albans. Nicely done. Well, it is time for the mix and match round now. Uh, but before we get into the questions, we would like to meet all of you. And of course, we begin with Basis Independent McLean. Tell us about yourself, Caden. Uh, my name is Caden. I'm a junior at Basis Independent McLean. Uh, I do Quiz Bowl, Science Bowl, and Science Olympiad. And I'd like to thank Mr. Casalaspi, who's our uh, club sponsor and coach. Wonderful. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Hillary. My name is Fiona, and I'm as a senior, I've been working on college applications lately, and in my spare time, I like to dance. I'd also like to thank my parents for being here and our coach, Miss O'Neill, for all her guidance and support. What kind of dance do you prefer? Uh, I, my favorite is ballet, but I do all types. Oh, nice. That's beautiful. Henry, hi. Uh, hi, my name is Henry. I'm a junior at Basis uh, McLean, and I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Youngman Jung uh, for teaching us to be the best of the best of the best minds. Beautiful. All right, guys, here we go. She rattled us. Don't get rattled. Just find in this sentence the name of what chief Greek goddess, the wife of Zeus. Oh, Hera. Yeah. Not us, but you should fill in the blanks to name what series of medieval military campaigns fought to control the Holy Land. Crusades. Yeah. Akin to Asia. In this volume of an old encyclopedia, you'd find a listing of what Italian physicist who hypothesized that Equal volumes of gases have an equal number of molecules. Avogadro. Correct. Bosnia, Polynesia, Malaysia. Which of these is not a country, but a geographical term for a large group of Pacific islands? Polynesia. Yeah. They can be heard for 10 miles. This description of firecrackers was written about the year 1300 by what man who had traveled to China and visited Kublai Khan's court? Marco Polo. Marco Polo is right. All right, basis independent, 210 points. Nicely done. 
And now, of course, we get to meet the team from Purcellville, Virginia's Loudoun Valley High School. Hello, Clementine. What should we know about you? Hi, I'm Clementine. I'm a senior at Loudoun Valley High School, and I'm in the marching band and the color guard, and I love doing that, and I also love reading. Oh, what, what kind of things do you like to read? I, re I will read anything anyone tells me to read. <laughs> I love reading all different kinds of genres and, like, different ways you can tell stories. It makes for a richer life, doesn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> Hiya, Aiden. Hi. I'm Aiden, and I'm a senior at Loudoun Valley, and I'm on the uh, Math Honor Society board. Beautiful. How long have you done that? Uh, since this year. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> and Sarah, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a senior at Loudoun Valley High School, and I'm class president this year. I'm oh. also in the color guard with Clementine. Very good. Were you nervous about the race, you know, the run for president? Yeah, a little bit. Uh -huh. Were you surprised to win? I was, honestly. Oh, that's great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Here are your questions. Grab art brushes. You can grab 20 points if you find hidden in this phrase, what computer code that appears on most items in a supermarket? Barcodes. Barcodes it is. Blank divide, blank Congress. What same word will precede each of these words to name the crest of the Rocky Mountain Range and the Congress that adopted the Declaration of Independence? Continental. Yes. Oak to Omaha. In this volume of an old encyclopedia, you'd read about what German physicist whose name is given to a unit of electrical resistance. Oh. Um, yes. Kiwi, ostrich, emu. Which of these birds is the smallest and the symbol of New Zealand? Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah. Fighting prophet. This is the subtitle of the biography of what Union Army general who foresaw a military victory when he marched through Georgia in 1864? Answer, William Tecumseh Sherman. But you did really well, Loudoun Valley, 200 points. And now we get to meet the team from St. Albans School in Washington, DC. William, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm William. I'm a junior at St. Albans. My favorite subject is Latin, and I run cross country and track. Wonderful, it's good to have you here. Thank you. Hiya, Tony. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm a senior at St. Albans. I play golf and football as well as playing the flute and orchestra. I'd like to thank our coach, Mr. Kelly, for being here today. All right. And Sebi. Hi. I'm Sebi. I'm also a junior at St. Albans. Um, I play piano. Um, I love to run cross country and track. And I want to thank my dad for being here. Oh, that's today. wonderful. I'm sure he's very proud. Okay, guys, here we go. I saved all assets. Your assets will increase by 20 points if you can find here the hidden name of what Texas city where President Kennedy was shot. Dallas. Yes, Dallas is right. Your kinfolk will be proud when you fill in the blanks to name what Norse seaman who sailed in longboats. Viking. Yep. Opera to pound. You consult this volume of an old encyclopedia for information about what antibiotic discovered in 1928 by Alexander Fleming. Penicillin. Penicillin it is. Sarong, kimono, sari. Of these three articles of clothing, which one is most likely to be sold at a store in New Delhi, India? Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Liberty is a duty, not a right. This was the opinion of what World War II Italian dictator? Uh, Mussolini. Mussolini is correct. Well done, St. Albans. 240 points. And that does it for the mix and match round. Don't go away because Picture Perfect is next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Hey, now a question for you, audience. How did rubber get its name? Turns out people began calling rubber rubber once they found out it could rub out pencil marks. Back to the teams. All right, guys, it's time for the picture perfect round. In this round, as you know, questions are worth 20 points up or down. First one to buzz in gets to answer. Here we go. 
the cassowary, a vicious bird known to kill people who get in its way, is found primarily on basis independent. Australia. No New Guinea. This painting shows settlers traveling through what see initial gap in the Appalachians as they followed St. Albans. Cumberland. Cumberland Gap is right. This golden frog is on display at the Gold Museum in what Costa Rican Loudoun Valley? Loudoun Valley? Uh, is that a mistaken buzz? Uh, the answer is San Jose, the capital city of Costa Rica. This expression is equivalent to the log of what number? Basis. 30. Yes. <laughs> Jellyfish have been the subject of many books, including one written by what man who was the World War II Emperor of Japan? Yes, basis. Hirohito. Yeah. Nice. The just man will pay more, the unjust less. The IRS would dispute this anti-tax statement written 2,000 years ago in the Republic by what? Yes. Plato. Plato is right. Nicely done, basis. And finally, the title of this Kandinsky painting identifies what long V-initialed Russian river, St. Albans. The Volga is correct, and that's it for the picture perfect round. Let's take a look at these scores. Basis Independent, 250 points. Loudoun Valley, 180 points. St. Albans, 280 points. So. I love when they applaud for you. <laughs> right? Doesn't it feel good? Okay. A lot of people applauding for you today are the coaches and the folks who support you. So let's meet them. We begin with the team from Basis Independent. Uh, Fiona, tell us who's with you today. Uh, today we have my father, uh, Mr. Zhu. Um, he's our parent sponsor for this year. And unfortunately, our two coaches, Mr. Kasselaspi and Miss O'Neill, couldn't be here with us. But they've been lovely and supporting us um, in our training. And they've been here for a long time. And it's great that your dad's here. Thanks from Loudoun Valley. Hey, Aiden, tell us who's with you. Today we have our coach, Miss Trude, who's the French teacher at Loudoun Valley, and we have our principal, uh, Dr. Ross. Awesome, we're so happy to have them here. And also uh, from St. Albans, Tony, tell us about your team um, behind the team. Uh, today we have uh, Mr. Kelly is here. Uh, he's our uh, our coach and also uh, math our math teacher as well. It's always so good to see you coaches here. Thank you so much for being on It's Academic with your teams. And now, of course, we get to dive into this packet round. As you know, undoubtedly, questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer. If you get all of the questions correct, there's a 25-point bonus. So that's a good thing. Uh, basis independent, you get to answer questions first. Loud and Valley, you get to choose which envelope they'll answer questions from. The one that fell, which is number three, number one, or number two. Number one. Number one. One of the most famous teenagers in history is what 15th century French peasant girl who rallied French forces at the Battle of Orléans in 14... Joan of Arc. Yeah, Joan of Arc. The U.S. University with the largest endowment, over $36 billion, is what oldest college in the country? Harvard, Harvard. Harvard University. Harvard is right. Here's your science question. Air pressure, oxygen levels, wind conditions. At sea level, water will boil at 100 degrees Celsius and on the summit of a mountain at 85 degrees. This phenomenon is due to the difference in which of these? Air pressure. Yeah. In 1863, a Cincinnati newspaper coined a new insult when it referred to Northerners who sympathized with the Confederacy as what kind of poisonous snake? So, you know. No, no, they like nuts. I know vipers. Answer? Vipers. Now you'll know when I say it. Copperheads. Here you go. Because of his protest against the Mexican-American War, what 19th century writer had to leave his home at Walden Pond and spend one night in jail? Thoreau. Oh. Yeah. Here's your math question. Simplify this expression, giving your answer as an integer. 50. 50. Yes. He never quite became a king and never quite allowed a legislature, wrote one historian about what 17th century Puritan who became Lord Protector of England. Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell. Coach. Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell is right. Nice basis independent. 370 points. <laughs> Loudoun Valley gets to play now, and St. Albans gets to choose which envelope it will be, two or three. Three. Okay. Loudoun Valley. The Senate would expand to 102 senators if statehood were given to what Caribbean island, now a U.S. Commonwealth? Printer stuff. Yeah. One of the most valuable items in the Library of Congress 
is an edition of the Bible printed by what 15th century Germans said to have invented movable type in Europe. Gutenberg? Yep, that's it. Here's your science question. Platinum, uranium, radium. Radioactive decay occurs in all of these elements, except which of these? Platinum. Yes. In 1781, the British Army Band played the world turned upside down after England lost what final battle of the American Revolutionary War? Yorktown. It is Yorktown. To get Rose Bowl statistics, you'd read a book on sports, but to learn the Dust Bowl, or about the Dust Bowl, you might read what John Steinbeck novel about the Okies? Answer? The Grapes of Wrath? Yes, The Grapes of Wrath, a fabulous book, The Grapes of Wrath. Here's your math question. How large a tip would you leave if you tipped 15% on a $50 check? 7.5 dollars. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I like that. It is said that the Liberty Bell cracked in 1835 while tolling the death of what fourth chief justice who wrote the Marbury versus Madison decision? Answer is Madison. Nope, it was Marshall. Loudoun County, 300 points. <laughs> Now, envelope number two for St. Albans. You would be breaking the law if you participated in what type of prearranged fighting such as that engaged in by Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr? A duel? Yeah. There is a city of London in Canada that's situated on a river with the same name as what river that runs through London in England? The Thames. The Thames is right. Here's your science question. Myoglobin, immunoglobulin, hemoglobin. In humans, the oxygen-carrying molecule located in red blood cells is called which of these? Hemoglobin. Yep, that's it. Jeanette Rankin was elected to Congress in 1916, several years before what number constitutional amendment gave women the right to vote? 19th. 19th Amendment is right. There are many kinds of cats but none like what fictional grinning cat that fades away in Alice in Wonderland? Cheshire. Cheshire cat it is. Here's your math question. If y equals one, what's the value of x giving your answer as a positive integer? One. Yeah. Answer? 99. 99 is right. Francis Napoleon III pulled various strings when he set up what Austrian archduke as Mexico's puppet emperor in 1864. Franz Ferdinand? No, but Ferdinand you got right. Ferdinand Maximilian. All right, nicely done. St. Albans, 400 points. Don't go away, guys. We have the grab bag round next. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know that the state of Louisiana is named for the French king Louis XIV, and the city of New Orleans refers to a French city associated with Joan of Arc? I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Hey, now a question for you, audience. Since they didn't have modern communications, how did ancient Romans transmit racing results? Apparently, they used crows, a bird which could not only get to its destination fast, but has the ability to remember human faces to ensure proper delivery. Back to the game. We're going to do this grab bag round, but first let's recap the scores. Basis Independent McLean, 370 points. Loudoun Valley, 300 points. St. Albans, 400 points. So in the scrap background, really, anything can happen, right? Because questions are worth 20 points up or down. Here's the first question. The devil is usually pictured in red, but the term blue devils refers to sports teams. Basis. Duke. Yeah. The Harding administration's teapot dome scandal involved the leasing of government lands rich in what valuable fuel basis? Oil. Oil it is. Choice. Is the atmospheric layer closest to the Earth, the troposphere? Yes, Loudoun Valley. Troposphere. It is the troposphere, <laughs> yeah. On your monitors. 
This happy photograph is of what author of such works as Basis? Zora Neale Hurston. You are right, as their eyes were watching God. January 1st is Independence Day in what Caribbean nation whose early leaders included Toussaint Louverture? Yes, St. Albans. Haiti. Haiti it is. Cortez was able to conquer the Aztecs in part because of an epidemic of what disease, Loudoun Valley? Smallpox. Smallpox is right, in stereo. 40% of what number is equal to 600? St. Albans. 1,500. Yes, you've got it. Check your monitors. If you seek his monument, look around you. This is a translation of the Latin inscription on the tomb of what English architect who designed London's St. Paul's Cathedral? The answer is Sir Christopher Wren. DNA testing on a few ancient bones indicated that human beings arrived about 46,000 years ago in what European country? St. Albans. Answer? Turkey? No, close, Bulgaria. <laughs> Joyce. Solar light that is diffusely reflected from a planet's surface back into space is called albedo, alkene, or corona. Yes, basis. Albedo. Yeah. Nice. The Irregulars is a book about the World War II spying career of what English author of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Basis. Stall. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Check your monitors. Quite visible in this photograph is what American author of Invisible Man? Allison? Basis. Yes, Ellison, it is. Caesar, Crassus, and what general who had married Caesar's daughter formed the first triumvirate of Pompey. Basis? Pompey is right. Choice. What Greek letter is used to symbolize radiation which has no mass? Alpha, beta, or gamma? St. Albans, gamma, yeah. How many degrees are in the smaller arc between the two hands of a clock that reads four o'clock? St. Albans. 120. 120, yeah, you got it. In Shakespeare's As You Like It, the speech beginning, All the World's a Stage, lists the... No oh, that's it. That is the end of the game. Nice competition. Stick around. The judges are tabulating the scores, and we'll have them for you in just a moment. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Many students are getting involved in their communities in important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hi, my name is Sanjay Ranjith, and I'm a student at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Virginia. I volunteer at the Vetrivale Foundation, where I translate math lessons from English to Tamil so that kids from all across the world can use online educational resources. For me, helping others is a privilege, and I plan to continue helping my community in the future. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Time for an audience question. Who said if you're too open-minded, your brains will fall out? It was American poet and social activist Lawrence Ferlinghetti who died in 2021 at the age of 101. Back to the game. All right, the scores are now official, and we begin with Loudoun Valley High School from Purcellville, Virginia. Clementine, Aid, and Sarah, 340 points. <laughs> from St. Albans School in Washington, D.C., William, Tony, Sebi, 460 points. Great job, guys. <laughs> and... Coming back for the playoffs, basis independent McLean, Caden, Fiona, Henry, 510 points, pulling it out in that grab bag round like nobody's business, guys. Awesome job. Please stick around because we've got more to talk about besides just these fabulous teams. We're going to tell you about something interesting. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness. And passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI, to space and back, 
MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. All right, let's hear it for this incredible team one, no, team three, team two, team one, who are all so good today. And we want to thank you, our incredible viewers. Please make sure to hang around and see us again next time. Bye-bye, everybody.